OpenAI's new chatbot named ChatGBT is gaining online traction as users test out the capabilities of this AI-powered information tool. Here to break it all down with the details, we've got Yahoo Finance's Ali Garfinkel. Uh, Ali, to say this is getting traction, I think is an understatement. My Twitter feed, at least, has been blowing up with people testing this out. What Mine you too, Akiko. Yeah, it's it really it's really blown up. I don't know if I've ever seen an AI tool go quite so mainstream. And there are a couple for anyone who's not as chronically online as you and I are. There are a couple of things that are really important about this. The primary one is this: this is the most sophisticated AI chatbot that we have ever seen released to the general public. And it's it was developed by OpenAI in San Francisco and. Its applications are honestly pretty broad. I've seen the applications range from completely silly, like there's one that went viral about a King James Bible verse about getting a peanut butter sandwich out of a VCR. And you know the applications can also get really scary. For instance, someone figured out how to get past how to get past some of the content filters and get it to tell you how there's a Molotov cocktail, how to make a Molotov cocktail. So the range the range of applications are broad, but there are a couple of simple ones. Some people are using it to clean up their code. Other people are using it to help draft cover letters. You know, there's been a lot of applications surrounding college essays. The way it works is essentially you sign on and you type a question much in the same way you would to something else we're all very familiar with, Google search. So I actually went and tried it out myself. Um, because I wanted to test out this idea because there's a lot of hub hub being like, well, you know, this is something that, you know, could eventually replace Google. And I think there are a lot of things underlying that, but I I asked it a couple of questions that you might ask Google. Um, one of them was very benign. It was about French toast. It might, it'll probably show up on the screen here in a second. Here you go. Yeah, I was just like, what's a recipe for French toast? Okay, that's a recipe. And then it shows you how it shows you how to make French toast. I also asked it a follow up that gave me excruciating details on how to add chocolate chips in. So I think there are a lot of questions that this poses, but there's no question it has gone completely viral. I, I love this. I'll definitely be checking that out. A big thank you there to Ali Garfinkel for us.